Welcome to Mr. Gitz's Flipped Classroom. Today I'm going to be going through this CEV PowerPoint called Preparing for a Digital Media Career, Career Opportunities. We're going to explore career opportunities in digital media and then identify the qualifications for what it takes to have a career in digital media. Talk about video, video production. One of the things that people think about is wedding videographers, wedding photographers. There's also graphic design careers, that's for newspaper, graphic design for multimedia, for the web, for mobile, web design, landing pages, social media, all that different stuff that happens with marketing, audio, this is audio right now that you're listening to, and it's good to know what good audio sounds like, and animation careers as well. So these are people responsible for motion images. So video is stuff that moves. Here you see a green screen. The thing with working with the green screen is short depth of field, so you can cut out your subject. So a lot of this is looking at when there's a weather. So a weather person typically stands in front of one of these. So you have for film or television, that's how production studios do in this work. Main thing with the production studio is finding a quiet place. There's still call letter. TV stations, so KXAN, KVU, KI are some of the main ones in the Austin market. Marketing or design studios, and then there's freelance as well. So I like to talk a little bit about rock stars with day jobs. So you may have a job that you're doing that you're getting your income from, but if there's something you're really passionate about, you could be a rock star with the day job to have that as another source of income that you're building. So you could eventually uh, quit your day job. So these are the different people that work on the job. The director leads what's going on. The producer makes a lot of stuff happen. And videographer or camera operator or director of photography DOP, those are all going to be, or DP, those are all going to be terms that mean the same thing. So that's the person who's running the camera. This comes from a, a range of different things. It could be a camera on your phone, you're, you're shooting video, all the way up to a uh, large Aerie Alexa, which we had had an uh, Aerie camera that was here when ASICS was shooting for a commercial last week. Those are all videographers. There's a huge range of, of types of cameras that are being used. So over here you see a camera with a matte box on it and you see here's a flag on top. Looks like there might be a pair of headphones hanging on it. So it, visual effects artists. So this is post-production effects. These are people who like to sit in a chair, don't really like going out and sweating and being in the sun. There's, there's, there's different, different types of jobs in a video career and looking at locations that you like, looking at work environments that you like. Using this PowerPoint, you'll be able to kind of pick what might suit you best. So using a, a tablet here, maybe it's a Wacom tablet, spelled W-A-C-O-M. It may include working on movies, TV shows. Fear the Walking Dead was shot here in Manor not too long ago. It's gonna be back to shoot again. Music video, so there's a song. That song can have an official music video. And this would be a way to look on YouTube. You could look on YouTube and do a search for videos that have, or for, for songs that don't have a video and they don't have a lot of views and reach out to the musician to see if they might like to have a music video. Commercials for projects, documentaries are going to be stories that are, are typically, typically true, almost like a news story. And then also for social media, what kind of social media is out there and, and how does it support the organization or brand that is posting it. College degrees are beneficial, but you don't have to have a college degree to do a lot of this work. I had a communications professor when I was at Purdue that said, when I was doing my undergraduate work in communications, he had said something about, you don't need to have a degree in this field to do the work. And somebody at the back of the room actually got up and walked out. So they don't know if they were pulling uh, his leg or not. But there's one, there's one way to look at this to say, don't major in communications. Don't major in art, uh, radio, TV, and film. Major in the subject that you want to create material about. So what I mean by that is you may major in in history or English or philosophy if you want to be a news reporter. If you want to be a news reporter that's covering medical, 
you may want to look at having a bachelor's of science in, in a medical field, right? So I had a student who came to me, said he was going to, said, Mr. Getz, should I study mechanical engineering or should I do communications? And I was like, do mechanical engineering because then you learn the mechanical engineering, but then you can also still do student media and still be producing for your own YouTube channel while you're learning the craft and the art and science of being a mechanical engineer. This one's a little bit tough uh, for me to look at here as somebody with, with a bachelor's in uh, communication and then a master's in radio, television, and film. It's not, there's many different paths. And what you're gonna find out is there's not necessarily a, a wrong path. So here's some of the different classes out there. Not a whole lot still focusing on sound because it's kind of like, oh, is radio gone and dead and Clear Channel bought up a bunch of stations and now there's XM radio, but podcasting kind of took out, took off to uh, take its place. So screenwriting is going to be, is going to be writing in a certain format uh, that is easy to translate to and turn into a short film or a video. That's what screenwriting is. Film theory is kind of on the humanities side. So on the humanities side, it's different from the, the social science uh, side. So there's some things that we've talked about in class about how do we know what we know and going out and does, does, media, does media reflect human behavior or does human behavior reflect media, right? So different things here, pre-production, multimedia studies, storytelling. These are all different types of, of college classes. But these are also all activities that we do in audio video production as well. Gaining experience in the field, we use Adobe Premiere here. Uh, we also have After Effects. I don't know why it says Shake. I think Shake was discontinued five or six years ago, but whatever. Uh, completing work experience to build a name and portfolio. The portfolio softwares that we use are going to be Bulb App. It's also going to be Google Sites. It's also going to be Adobe Spark. Directors, I think this sh should be Directors Guild of America right here. Not sure though. Uh, Los Angeles Post-Production Group. There's also some groups that are right around here in Central Texas and different contests. So we're looking at South by Southwest, also Skills USA. Career opportunities, photography careers. So here's some different things here. And I think that one of the reasons that I like videography a little bit more than photo is because if you go out and shoot video for a project, you can make it up in the edit. As opposed to if you shoot photo, if you don't have those photos when you walk away, you will not have those photos later. What I like a lot about video production is that when you go and you shoot, you can put more time in in the edit to make something that is acceptable to the client. Whereas, if you shoot a wedding, photography, and you don't get what that couple wants, you could end up in court. Capturing and editing images, representing a, a product or business. So this isn't a, as high stress, but with wedding and events, it's like that's the only time that it's happening. And for events, for example, shooting football, you want to make sure you can get your camera to turn the flash off. Different types of photography, portrait studio, definitely going to be indoors. And then editorial is going to be kind of newspaper, right? So there's photos needed for advertisement. There's photos needed for art, like a gallery show. There's also photos needed sometimes for video production. So motion graphics is when you take a photo or graphic and make it move. We have communication, photography, studio art, media. These are some of the different degrees here. And some of these may be a bachelor's of art and some of them may be a bachelor's of science. The endorsement that we have here uh, within Maynard is that the arts and technology is under a, a business endorsement. So I like that where I am at, it's under a business endorsement as opposed to being under an art endorsement. Different classes here again, layout placement, digital photography, gaining experience so using Photoshop. So that's one of the programs that we can certify in that's recognized by the Texas Education Agency. Professional Photographers of America, Skills USA. I talk about Skills USA a lot. There's five areas that we can compete in. The, the competitions are typically end of January, beginning of February, but one of them is photography that we can go compete in. 
Graphic design. Design studios. Sometimes it's freelance. Sometimes you actually work for one company and it's all the design and the work that you're doing is done in-house. Creative designer, freelance designers. This is again, rock stars with day jobs, right? Different things that are needed. These are all deliverables. So there's print design. So you'll need to know the difference between vector art and also rasterized images. Digital communication, graphic design. Interactive media also includes uh, user experience, so kind of UX. And some of that also includes focus groups and putting quote unquote research subjects in front of whatever the technology is that you have and asking them what they're going to click on next, what they think they should click on next to kind of see how uh, sites are used. So gets into the psychology. What are you going to click out? What are you going to click on next? What are you thinking? Right here, so you need a portfolio, a lot of different things here, product, uh, package design as well. Gaining experience, Adobe Creative Suite. All roads kind of lead uh, back to uh, Adobe at this point. Let's keep going. Web design, responsible for designing websites, right? Marketing studios and freelance again right here. So is the website done in-house or are you making websites for four or five different companies that you're maintaining to, to drive your income. Business communication manager. So this could be public relations. Do we put our best foot forward, right? So what is it that's best about your company or your messaging that uh, you wanna have a press release about and to, to, to put out there on the web? Employment in web design, interactive websites, professional websites, app, game design. So these are all different things that, are, that involve web design. Bachelor's in Communication, emphasis on digital web, interactive media. What we have for Maynard Senior High and within uh, Maynard Independent School District is we have a, a website. I think, I think it's run by uh, Blackboard. So Blackboard is the engine uh, behind it. And what we can do with that website is have teacher web pages, have a calendar, have news. Teachers can update their own websites. And we also have Manor Senior Facebook, Manor Senior Twitter, Manor Senior Instagram. There's a lot of different places to put information out there. Image editing and animation, user experience right here. This is good. User experience, interface design. Those are huge things. When somebody comes to a site, or when they come to an app, if it's not usable, if they don't know what to do with it, it's not going to be used. It's not going to be successful. Let's keep going here. Social media. Tweet for a living, right? Have the following types of work environments. So there's agencies, business communication department, marketing departments. And a lot of this, you have to have a, a cultural sensitivity and to, to know kind of what you're putting out there and what your messaging is. So there isn't something that happens that's a... Uh, uh, a mistake and you potentially uh, lose your job. Consumer studies coordinator. So what are the consumers saying? Content marketing manager. So this utilizes different platforms to, to be putting the, the marketing materials you have out there. And then the manager has the, the brand, so the over, overarching ideas. SEO, search engine optimization. So that's if, if, if the clicks of people, if traffic is, is coming and if it's, if it's optimized to, to execute the strategy. Employment, you could be a social media account uh, manager, marketing customer outreach, publicity, customer involvement. Sounds a lot like being a TV reporter, right? So it sounds a lot uh, kind of about news, but it's not necessarily news. It's more kind of uh, public relations. Bachelor's degree, social media management, public relations, internet, interactive media. College courses could be user experience, advertising, psychology, once again. So how, how people are seeing the content, what they're thinking. We have, talks about Twitter here, talks about Facebook, specialized experiences. And this is kind of portfolio and, and rolling your sleeves up and looking at what customer reviews local companies have and seeing if local independently owned companies are responding to their reviews that are being left on, on social media. So that's, uh, that's something out there that companies are, are willing to pay for. Video production sets, radio, Recording studios, so here you see headphones, here you see a fuzzy screen that helps with not having wind noise on the microphone. 
radio personality, broadcast technician, making podcasts. When I made a transition from the world of sales to the world of teaching in 2016, I was so impressed that, that students were really talking about podcasts and that podcasts and listening to audio were a thing. Operate equipment, voiceovers, could be some Foley work, so making sound effects that are needed. It's been said that a person will listen, a person will watch a video if the images are bad or the video is bad, but they won't watch a video where the images and the sound is bad. So it, there's a case that could be made in video production that audio is actually more important than uh, image. Podcast, radio station, we see a popper stopper, we see a microphone, we see headphones here. We see a visible tattoo, so this gentleman would not be able to work at Disneyland because he has a visible tattoo. Okay, um, bachelor's degree, audio engineering, media production, good stuff. Acoustics, there was a gentleman named Mark Genfan, worked for, he had a company called Acoustic Spaces, so did wonderful recording studios, and he and his wife were swept over a bridge when they went to cr cross a uh, high river crossing, and that's that, so Acoustic Spaces is, is no more. Uh, that was kind of sad. Um, MIDI is still a thing. Studio etiquette, one of the biggest things is do not mention a project you're working on unless other people that are more senior than you are talking about different projects that they're working on. So you wanna make sure that you know the reason you're in the studio and you're serious about what the goal is for the day and why you're there. Complete Portfolio Works, Society of Broadcast Engineers. Infocom International has been renamed. I think it's called Axia, A-X-I-A. And I did a little bit of work to see if I could get what is now Infocom approved by the Texas Education Agency as a certification that's recognized in the audio video field. So they put together a lot of the standards for how audiovisual design work is done. Animation, freelance. Again, rock stars with day jobs. So that's, you got the job that makes you money, but then you have your passion projects that you're attempting to turn into a business, right? So 2D, and then we have 2.5D, which is kind of using the Z axis. So everybody knows X goes, X goes what, left and right, Y goes up and down, and Z comes straight towards you. A little bit different from what we see in math, right? So stop motion. And then celluloid is kind of the old film, so taking a, taking a photo of, of something and developing that film. Special effects, and then we get down into a website again here, is you're seeing a lot of overlap, a lot of convergence. So if you're interested in animation, there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of skills. So if you're a good photographer, that good photography can be used in so many different places. So as a straight up photo, or it could be used as a plan for an animation. It could be a mock-up of a website, right? So that wouldn't necessarily be a photo, but that would be using Photoshop uh, to make something like that. So we got Adobe again here, and then you can see this is some drawing that's being done on a, on a Wacom tablet. I guess some people say Wacom. So Adobe Animate uh, came from uh, Macromedia Flash, so you can actually make HTML5 games, you can make soundboards, lots of different things can be done in Animate. Of the Adobe suite, what we have is, I think Photoshop is kind of the lowest barriers to entry, so easier to learn, then Premiere is, is next in being more difficult, and then After Effects is a little bit more difficult with keyframing, and then Adobe Animate with the JavaScript and different uh, coding that you can do in it. I think Animate is one of the most complicated of the Adobe suite uh, to use and work with. Uh, this right here isn't, it's not, I don't have the ability to cut and paste this into the notes. I wish I did, but I can't, can't highlight it or, or anything here. So here's some resources. So you can pause. Oh, this is it right here. A-V-I-X-A. That is what Infocom has turned into. So Infocom is the uh, standards and uh, licensing. So I did my certified technology, certified technology specialist uh, through Infocom uh, years ago. So that's it right there. So this is preparing for a digital media career, uh, career opportunities. My name is Mr. Getz. I'm in the recording studio at Maynard Senior High School in Maynard, Texas, spelled M-A-N-O-R. If you got any questions, please do reach out. I'll have some information here in the description so you will know uh, where to find me and the Mustang Media Network. Thanks for watching.